and just a double check for me at least. Blah. Just a double check. Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good. Finally. All right. So today we're gonna be continuing on the wing, and uh, yeah, I'm a little bit more better now. I was way too much exhausted. <laughs> Uh, playing games is not a very health healthy diet when it comes to some things. Uh, wing three, this is wing three. I need wing three only. Uh, so wing one needs to be go. All right. So I figured out how to fix the problem that has been occurring with um, the white uh, masking. So I'm gonna be fixing that as well by uh, doing it right now. So I'm gonna be continuing here. Where is he? Where's the where's the bird? Where's the bird? Where's the bird? I need that. No, not that one. I need this one. Yes, thank you. Photo coloring. All right, let's continue. So yes, um, I figured out that I can actually make my mistakes erase. So good for me. I'm just gonna be casually doing my thing here, and that's actually coloring up. And once the coloring is done, you know, I just need to do it again and again and again because of um. Let me just show you this. Yeah, that that problem I have. Well, sometimes it's occurring, sometimes it doesn't. But it's important for me to make sure that everything here is uh, colored up. So. Probably need to do a rerun of all the colors, so I need to do a second layer just to fix up the first one. But should not be the case this time. Easy. So the idea here is actually that I'm trying to get you know all the colors done, and then once all the color is back into the feathers, you know, and then I will start you know get the rest of the colors. So this is gonna be a different color, and then I need to do some layers on top of it, so that I will get the right amount of color in it. Probably that's the right word here. But yeah, I need to make sure that I do everything right. Well, not make sure, just need to do it. So yeah, um, I've been playing. I have been playing game games for now for a long time. I've been playing Cyberpunk like like three days straight. I did some sleep, and that's for sure. But I wanted to unlock all the endings just to see what the endings are, and you know, they are really mind fucking for my part. Like holy shit, this is sad. Like, not on the sad part of, you know, bad, more like sad on, it hurts me in my soul. So yeah, I do like them. I do like the endings that are representing already, that I have put in front of me. It's like, I think, um, I think the game wants me to say uh, the word um let's see what what would be a good way to say things live life to the fullest there you go that's a that's a good way to not spoil anything so yeah it's a good game it's a good game it's it's really likable even though it has bugs who <laughs> which game does not have bugs i can i know a lot of games that have bugs so I don't mind 
I actually don't mind. It's more fun to just play around and then just do whatever I want to do. So yeah. That's still that part. All right. So yeah, I'm happy that I'm trying to do this correctly. Even though you know I'm a little bit, l I'm a little bit less motivated yesterday because I was like he really lightheaded. I even forgot to close the close the stream. So yeah, being lightheaded is not a very helpful thing to have. But it was because I was actually exhausted. Oh hey blue. The internet has been in and out, but hopefully I will be able to watch your coloring, your glorious hawk moth. <laughs> yeah! Also, um, have you already read the parts that Crow is uh, writing down for his... Uh, oh, have you seen the things in the D&D the chat of uh, what Crow is uh, saying, like the options? Because there are some fun things that I can do then, if, if we're going for that kind of team. Mafia team, yeah. Gangster paradise, boys. Ah. <laughs> Gangster twenty twenty second vibe, yeah, something like that. Making bloody damn goblin, making a bloody damn goblin with a gun, and then uses that to shoot magic missiles out of it. Yeah, that kind of that kind of vibe. That's actually quite a cool vibe to have. Oh, Wild Magic Sorcerer would be very cool as well, just to fuck over a whole campaign like, ah yes, this is happening. So yeah. Oh boy, I did something wrong. Allow me to reconnect this. Well, I'm going to go over here and then press this button like that. There you go. So yeah. Um... You know, if I ever want to make something, it's either going to be a ranger, because I do like to have ranger. I'm going to be using a fish as a weapon. Oh. And I'm going to be using the fish, and then the fish is going to be biting. And then until the combat is going away, and then I will give him, I will use great water to, f to give it, uh, g uh, let it breed. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to... Probably gonna make it chipper, so I'm gonna make maybe tr a throwable. You know, I will throw the I will throw the bloody damn fish at somebody and say go fish, and then you know that then the fish is gonna be attacking. <laughs> I think I'll make a bubbly elephant flapper. I think sure that there is a class that depends on uh, that would anybody else does. The kind I kind of want to heal. I'll let you have the healing then. It was either that or it was gonna be a rogue that is actually a bu uh, a buntologist. So, 
you know, that's also fun. So, is a bontologist the right name for it? Hospitaler. Yeah, there you go. A guy who helps you tend to your wounds, that kind of guy. So, not, e not able to heal, but able to use the medic kit. So, a rogue with using the able to medic kit. So, yeah. Since we're going for the street kind of look. I think I think a quit I think a clipper would be a good idea. Yeah. A blooded empirania as pet. Why would you pick a fish as a pet? I don't know. I felt like it. But it needs to breed. I don't care. Go fish <laughs> Instead of go Pokemon, I will throw my fish at you and he will bite and you will die of the biting part. No, 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 no. Problem is, he cannot even grapple. <laughs> oh, hey, Mark. <laughs> the problem is, I if I would go for that kind of thing, I would not be able to. Prob it would probably not work since that the fish then needs to do a grapple action every single time, so it can only do nang, 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 but no damage. So maybe not the best idea to use a fish as a. As a as a pet, but I could use it as a weapon by taking the fish out of the water and then smack someone silly with it with its teeth. So I'm gonna be using it as a sword then instead of a club. So ha ha, shik ow! Yes, indeed. <laughs> and then put it back into the bowl, into in the bowl. Yeah, exactly. So then I need to do two actions. So I need to do I need to use a action to grab the fish. As a weapon, I need to do then quick draw so I can quick draw my fish and then you and then use the fish in short range and then undraw it and put it back into the bottle. <laughs> Team Fortress 2 already did it. It's a melee weapon for the scout. Exactly, exactly. You know what I mean. Go fish, my friend. Go fish. Um, yes. Alright, so yes, it is possible for me to make a ranger that uses a fish as a weapon. His own pet as a weapon, yes, I can do that. That's actually quite cool. So the fish will attack, and then he will attack, and then the fish will attack, and then he will attack. I also could make a bloody damn spider, a spider goblin, a gobble with a spider pet. That's actually also quite cool. Or an awakened snack. Yeah. There you go. So, what could be also a quite cool thing to have? Like, hmm, what is also a very good, a good, a good, a good build that could be working? So yeah, the chiropractor or whatever the the medic, the medic is actually one of the cool things that you can make in a in a gangster paradise, if I may say so. So yeah, healer is also very nice. Um, you could go for like uh, a bouncer, you know, the bouncer type, you know, just a guy who just bounces people out of the clubs. Like, hey buddy, no nobody entering here, boy. And I'll be that. So yeah, the stupid bouncer is actually one of the cool things as well. Or, oh, I could actually go for like uh, a damaging type of cleric. Where else you just use fire magic to create weapons and all that stuff? Ooh, that's actually a quite cool idea. So you're an you're a weaponsmith. You know, you see the weapon and then you can make the weapon. So you can actually copy someone else's work, as long as you have the stuff for it. So yeah, you could go for that. 
So a weapon, a weapon cleric, just a guy who prays to God for his masterful work, and then he, then he creates the wa weapons. I also need to remind myself that I need to mute, uh, mute myself, and I didn't. So sorry for this. I am so sorry. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, I was busy explaining stuff. Yeah, so it's either that, or you could, you know, make a armor cleric, which can technically heal if you want to, but I would rather focus it on damaging spells and all that stuff. So forging abilities, abilities with fire, using a fire mace, you know, beating people with a hammer, just a casual old blacksmith, you know, and getting them being a gun crafter. So you can actually make guns, and bullets, and all that stuff. Yeah. Little Vinny knows a guy who knows how to make bullets. Aye. Is that illegal? No. It's not illegal if it is in God's hands, my friend. Aye. You're getting me? No. <laughs> yeah, that's also very awesome. So yeah, bullet, bullet, bullet cleric could also work. So you're using a, you're using the weapon, you're creating your own weapons. So like, <gasps> all this illegal trading, I don't care. I'm just gonna make my own bullets with my own people with hookers and blackjack. So yeah. So yeah, there is a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that you can make, you know. Or. Or one more thing that you can make. Uh, you know, you know the scarecrow from um, Batman. Yeah, you could also make that guy if you want to. Giving people na nightmares and all bad dreams and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Interrogation is my best weapon. Ah. Uh. -huh. uh. Or you could go for a fortune teller. It's also a very cool idea. If I say so myself. Anyway. Let's see if the outlet. outlet. Yeah, it's all there. Okay, cool. No, it's not. Ah, it's not there fully. Allow me to fix that for you. Boop. There you go. It should not be fixed, if I'm correct. Hey, look at that. There is my Johnny. There's my bomb. He's the man. Anyway, this is how draw this is how coloring works in my book. You know, I just color over it and then everything turns into you know this strange looking coloring party. But yeah, eventually this will all look very nice, but you know, it it just takes a lot of time to get this thing fixed. So don't worry about it. It might take a long, long time, but, you know. Also, um... There you go. There it is. There it is. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's zoom out for a bit and see how well we're doing. Oh, lovely. It's all brown now. 
So now we need to have a second color. So we're gonna pick we're gonna pick up a color that is nearby. Uh, why are we doing it like this? Because otherwise we cannot erase it. So you could also set mm, and then then it w you could also just set mm, and then it went completely silent. <laughs> dramatic tension. Yes, indeed, dramatic tension. <sighs> What would he ever think about today? Ooh, very spooky. I mean, obviously, there's not the best thing. I... Jesus. Oh. So I already have the brown, and now I need to have a singular. Ah, uh, there you go. No. Yeah, the dead one. Fine. Now I can just move over here, move then that, that way. It should now be. There it is. Lovely. All right. Now we have the full vision. So yes. So you have different. You have different. Uh, you have different kind of builds that I'm trying to get towards. Like, if I want to build something, I'm gonna build something very funny. Well, not funny in the funny idea, like being super serial and all that stuff. No, it's not gonna be that funny. What is this? This is not the right color. That's a horrible coloring. Come on, give me give me something better. I am not in the AFK section. Allow me to just double do this. Jeez Louise. But there you go. Easy easy fixable. Anyway. Um so yeah. Um if you I'm consisting upon this. Ugh. So bounces is actually one of the things that you could go for. You could go for uh what is also there in the in this gangster wars, well, you could go for a hooker if you want to. Whatever. Um, yes, uh, military bitches. Nah, let's see more mob bosses. Well, mob henchmen, whatever. Both are the same. Oh, uh, you could actually go for technically uh, just a rogue, you know, a guy who just robs people, mocks people on the uh, on the on the flat surfaces, you know. Get money out of it. So yeah, it's one of the things that I can do. Also, I'm trying to get towards this effect, but I don't know if the effect is gonna be working properly. It's a little bit dodgy. It's a little bit dodgy. I must say myself, but I'm hoping that I'm be able to get this thing done fully and functional. I mean, uh, my wordings are not always the best way to tell things. I'm not very good at it. I'm not very great at it. I'm the I'm the almost the worst out of it to tell people like, hey, 
this is the way to do things or this is the way to do things because I clearly don't hold my agendas very good. It's normally like, oh, you have a plan. Well, uh, uh, yes, yes, the plan. I did totally not forget the plan. <laughs> it's the 20s, so I can make a fla flapper. Oh no, that's a double negative for the win. <laughs> it's the 20s, man. It's the duty 20s. Just may if you go for the 20s like Gangster Wars. Uh, e man. Wait, wait. Allow, allow me to just double check if what what the 20s look like. The 1920s. Allow me to just say see what what kind of people live then, huh? Imagine. Ah, look at that. Perfect style. 1920s. So that's like this. <laughs> like Tintin. <laughs> like Tintin. Ah, yes, of course. The 1920s. Lovely role models. Uh, that's the 1920s. Ah. Well, that's so. Uh, well, it's like Charlie Chaplin kind. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, it doesn't doesn't actually really problematic on me. Well, those people look nice. Yep, that's some fresh ass workers. Charlie Chaplin again. Mass hospitals, yeah. That was actually the first world war, actually. Uh, I think it was in 1934, right? Well, first world war. Just double checking images now. I want to just know when. When was it actually? 1922. 90, oh man, that's just in the. So that's like, oh man. So yeah, America has done a hard time if you're going for the 1920s because they just they just need to recover from a World War One scenario. Holy shit! Eh, I never knew. Oh well, now I know. But it. Come on. No, are you on full screen again? God damn it. Oh well, you know, the more I learn about it, the better I get at it anyway. So, I'm happy that, you know, we are going to the 1920s when people are wearing big giant top hats like from Tintin. I don't know if everybody knows Tintin, but, uh, you know, it's that uh, private detective, Tintin, <laughs> with uh, the uh, British uh, British people that work for Interpol. Uh, Janssen, Janssen. Uh, best guys ever. The twins. And the captain. So yeah, that's that's the 1920s. Holy hell, I didn't know, by the way. That means that also the... Uh, if I'm correct, the Ottoman Empire still stands. So that's good. Then you have to deal with a lot of illegal trading and all that stuff. So actually the 1920s is actually quite cool because they had a lot of illegal trading, trading chemicals, uh, what more, uh, discovery of uh, War machine. Yeah. No, that's not good. I need to recall those parts. Yep, I do. Is 
better to, for me to lower the copy setting and just you know, draw over it like this. Yeah, that's better. So, allow me to double check this if this is better. Hold on. Yep. Prohibitors cause a lot of fun illegal activities in the states. Yep. So, what does this do? This do a lot, but uh, it does give the effect. So that's good. But I think I need to do it. I think I need to redo it again because of the amount of stuff I need to re redesign. So yeah, I do want to do it like this, but I need to do it in 55 cap capability. So the capacity, uh, the words. So now, don't be too obvious to do. Also, I can now continue like this. So now I can fix the colors that I was missing. Like this. Easy. So, yeah. A lot of illegal activities, my lord. <sighs> or you could be that rich ass motherfucker who just, you know, who owns a ship collection. Oh, I like Tintin. Yeah. I really should read some more of the. Um, See, uh, comic series of them. They're quite good. I didn't know they actually w uh, that they actually went for the 1920 style. I didn't know, alright? I normally don't pay attention on those things. It's not my supreme support, or whatever you're supposed to say on this. Anyway. So now it's a lot quicker. Which means I can do now things faster. Well, not faster in a fast way, but faster in my way. At least. And don't forget, you know, the uh, the vodka and alcohol, you know, and all that stuff. And you have butlers. Oh man. You have these fancy rich people. Oh no, you have fancy rich people. Yes, fancy rich people. You have also swindlers and uh, roof guys, those who clean your roofs. Yeah. I think you even have the puppet makers. Eh, probably. Toys. <laughs> Wondering is now like, how would, how then, how would I then use druids in that kind of setting? Hmm. I think I have a way. It's not the smartest way, it's not the best way, but it should be working. Just a guy in a nice suit who uh who loves birds. Yeah. Birdman. Pigeon man, yeah there you go. Pigeon man. Bass man with pigeons. Pigeon man. The superhero that everybody needs. He always he always wants to go for the rights of the pigeons. And it's very really hurtful if you say something mean to pigeons. <gasps> How dare people say this. Don't listen to them, my pigeons. They don't mean it. No, they don't. Uh, <laughs> Pigeon Man now installs. What, what, what kind of powers does he have? Uh, he can command pigeons. Wow. Yeah. And that's his only power. He can communicate not with pigeons, no, he can only command them. He does not have any sense. He can communicate with pigeons by normal gestures, not by talking to them or something. He's just a casual pigeon man. Pigeon man! What, what is... <laughs> a pigeon man would well, I think. <laughs> yeah. Especially, um, you know, you know what his focus is, where he casts all his magical energy out from? 
out of a whistle yes a bird whistle of course so yes pigeon man a very nice and gentle person who likes ice cream and loves to talk about pigeons all day long ah pigeon man you could also go for like a biologist you know who uses uh you you who is specialized in uh, chemicals and all that stuff you know who sells illegal drugs and all that stuff yeah you could do that also yeah. that would also be worried but what better is is the pigeon man yes pigeon man a friendly fa a friendly man who uses pigeons all the time oh yeah pigeon man now <laughs> who is that man with who is that man with a bird like posture? It's Pigeon Man. I already can see it happening like ah uh, ah uh, yes, of course, right. Technically a cat burglar would also work in such a you know setting. Whatever. A cat burglar, you mean like uh like how do you say that one? Catwoman? Yeah, sure. Catwoman in the uh, DC universe. You could technically go for that as well. A cat cat burglar would work. Or oh, well, cat lady would work. Definitely. Definitely. I don't have, I don't have, like, a lot of doubts with that, that that would not work in such a kind of thing. But yeah. Work well. <laughs> I think it will work well. <laughs> Thanks. I think also a Jew, uh, a jewelry, a jeweler smith. Uh, how do you say that word? Jeez, Louise. A, a jeweler. Yeah, right. The guy who works with jewels. That you know looks at jewels and sees if they are profitable or something like that. That just runs a scheme of, I don't know. Uh, false made jewels that are not you know that are not profitable at all and then sells them on the black market for huge amounts of money you know that kind of guy could also work just you know a guy who works in the illegal trades of jewels you know he doesn't give a shit where it came from he doesn't care if it was made out of the poor innocent children out of africa he doesn't care he only cares about money he cares about if he can make a profit out of it or he, or he needs to scam a person to do so. You know, that kind of guy. You see, that's the old kind of cranky, you know, the old kind of cranky dwarf that just sits in your neighbor complaining about whatever complaining about. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, dwarven man. Uh. No, I think he will call be. I think he will be called Reggie. Yeah, Reggie Rocket. Reggie Rocket, one and only. Pleasure to meet you. What well, can I be the owners of it? Fascinating jewel you have there. Should be a shame if someone would reproduce that kind of stuff. No, no, no. I was not talking to myself here. Reggie Rocket. Yeah, master fraud. Master in front, uh, in front, front movement. Yeah, you could make like you could make like a guy who sells fake objects. Well, not not fake objects, but you know, this is one. There is only one of this. You know, a schemer, a swindler, that kind of guy. You know, who who gives like, hey, dude, you wanna um, you wanna get uh, you wanna get uh, to an amusement park today? Yeah, all right. Uh, here's your ticket. Don't forget. Make sure that all your friends can come as well. And then you know, has an illegal donkey farm. You know, that turns children into donkeys. Yeah, that kind of guy. That's like a, you know, those kind of schemy guys you could have. I'm not saying that they're bad. Oh boy. They are in your good hands, my friend. They're in your good hands.
So yeah. Yes, that was that was a reference to Pinocchio. 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 Yeah, Pinocchio. I will just say it in my language. Pinocchio. Yeah, there you go. Of course that was a reference towards that. Why would it not be a reference to that? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tale. I need to fix this all up. Alright. Did I do it on the paint layer? Yes, I did. There you go. So now I can fix this part up here. So yeah. Anyway, uh blah blah blah. Where was I? Hopefully not being again on the absolute silence, which is horrible, trust me upon this. It's like I want to talk to some people when I try to do my stream because otherwise I might be going like I have nothing to say good day so it's like uh, I don't know let's see if I can find it I uh, let me see just get to the responses already like uh, yeah I want to go to yep let's go for this and then go to what's uh no ah yes there you go now I want to go for yes now I want to go for this um now I need to go here <laughs> oh man, these things are so great. Um, these responses are so good. Ah, so you know, I like, I love to play games. You know, that's that's one of the things that I really like to do. It's one of my favorite type of ga uh, one of my favorite type of game that I like to play. I already have played like three thousand hours in, so don't worry. It's just a game. That's all. 3,000 hours, that's not much. I totally have nothing to do with that. Totally not, totally not want to play that game quite a lot. Uh, quite a lot. But yeah, one of the funny things is actually they put uh, announcers in the game. So, yeah. I do, do love when, you know, you have different kind of announcers to... And the announcers are always respon responsive towards, you know, your actions you do or whatever you're doing so allow me to um, uh, let's see ah here you go so so one of the funny the funny responses of them uh, is actually w one of my favorite but I don't know you want you guys want to hear it 
you want to hear the response towards one of my favorite kind of things or well, games that I play? I will not get uh, get fucked over by things because you know I will just say what it is. So yeah, uh, let's see. Now let me go back here. Grab that silly ass over there. Oh man. Not the fucking piece of junk. Why am I always drawing it on the wrong thing? Yeah, damn it. Alright. Go back to here. Uh, sure. Alright, let's hear it then. So, this is one of my favorite negative responses of Gladys in the Portal 2 package of Dota. So, yeah. Now, uh, let's see. But looking at it another way, I think you've won a real moral victory here. Which doesn't mean we should forget about the first way. The more accurate and humiliating way. Or oh, this one. This is one of my favorite as well. But on the bright side, I just won. Money. Gambling money. By betting against you. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> also, there are self-references to, towards themselves, like this one. This is the hardest part of being an impartial announcer. Balancing how little I care about anything that's happening here. <laughs> oh man, I do love that announcer. It's so good. It's so great. It's so good. It's so good. So yeah, it's a good announcer at least. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, that game is the boss. It's a fun game because it actually has good announcers in it, and the characters itself themselves actually respond quite well to each one, towards each other. So even if you're playing in the lane. Hello, Space Junk. Nice to see you. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Hmm. Ah, yes. Allow me to just see if I can find a good welcome here. Uh, let's see. Ah, yeah. Uh, let's see. There you go. Perfect. Just perfect. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can trigger it. Nah, no need. Anyway, um, welcome, Space Junk. I am happy to see you. Yeah, I'm busy working around, you know, doing the stuff that I always do, trying to draw, well, color at least. Now we need to actually go for some little more. Put the second layer on. See if we can. Uh, 
Easy. 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 That's shooting lead. Better. So much, so much fun to see actually a lot of you guys showing up. It really makes my day actually. If I say so, my, uh, I say, if I say, my, I say so myself. So yeah, today we actually almost are done finishing the the colorization on the wings. So good to know. It's quite fun how actually everything turns out in the end. It's like boom, baby. I'm so close. Alright. Gonna be saving us. Oh. Turn a little thing. Need to do. forgetting that I need to do that as well. So yeah, let's take a look at it already. And um so yeah. That's some nice looking that's some nice looking wing. Even though it's not yet done, don't don't get me wrong, yeah. It's not done yet. But as you can see this lines up well. So now I need to make sure that I have a good natural going for here. And yes, we're gonna do the lighting uh, afterwards. So we're gonna be doing the lighting as uh, as last thing. So first we're gonna do coloring, then we're gonna do coloring, and then we're gonna do lighting and shadowing. So first we need to do the coloring part, but you know the coloring part does take a lot of time. I mean, it's a big picture. That's the least I can. Uh, that's that's the least thing I can say about it. Hold up. Hold up. I forgot to put here a white skin. Oh, I thought fine. I'll fix it. Um. Anyway. Um. That is it for now. It is almost one o'clock. Uh. Yep. All right. Um. Anybody. Uh. For everybody. Um. Thanks for all for watching, and I wish you all a great day, and until the next time, bye!